Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, the last week in August here, and I was just down at the garden a little bit ago and looking at the pumpkin patch, and I was kind of getting excited because if you remember about three and a half, four weeks ago, I did a video on the garden and the patch was not, not looking good at all. It was quite unimpressive and we were hoping for a good month. And I thought, you know, we've had a pretty good month, so let's go down here, check out the pumpkin patch, give you a little update. I'm getting kind of excited. Okay, now hold on a second. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor, go down, hit subscribe, and like the videos, share the videos, and let's uh, let's follow along as we try to have a homestead on a dusty old butte. Let's go check out these pumpkins. Okay, I don't know if you guys remember about three and a half weeks ago what this looked like, but we're gonna bring this up, give you a peek here, and my goodness has it really filled in i ain't even kidding guys if you remember that video there was the plants were teeny a lot of dry ground a lot of dirt and just look at it go now do we have enough time left that's the real question but uh, i'm excited i think we're uh, we're moving in the right direction it's actually getting kind of a little bit more difficult not to step on any vines over here I'm gonna take you over and show you a couple pumpkins as you can see it's starting to fill out everywhere and from the last video this is quite impressive like these two plants over here honestly they were smaller than this tire the tire was shoved back in there a ways but it was considerably smaller than that tire the last video at least this one was and uh, as you can see it's gone a little bit crazy same with this one here it's coming all the way out here all the way out here we have looks like a little pumpkin starting right there we got one starting right there maybe maybe one starting right there these ones haven't been pollinated yet but i'd say what tomorrow that one might open up we start pollinating our own stuff because the bees are not doing their job we lost a couple few pumpkins early on that weren't doing nothing hey look at that guys a little jack-o'-lantern pumpkin going right there I pollinated that one myself and we got one tucked under there a little bit so not too shabby coming on over here what have we got oh there's one right there sweet so there's a pretty good one take a peek at this little number so it's coming on pretty strong the little uh where the flower came off there was a little bit of a hole it was such a big blossom so we tried to plug that so it could heal without getting infested with any bugs or anything like that we'll see what happens with that this one here is is kind of a long plant not real super impressive but if you guys remember it was just a little rinky dink thing and of course all these froze back in june if you remember the third week in june so just under two months ago they all but frosted and died and we uh we tried salvaging them and a lot of them came back slowly but surely and we're coming on strong this one here was one of the ones i did in the incubator and planted and as you can see it's actually a pretty healthy little plant got a little bit of chew going on there from some bugs but right here we got a little pumpkin started right there and i'd say probably within a week that one will be blossomed out and i can pollinate that one but i don't know if it's going to make it guys I just don't know. We'll walk over here. These giants have not been very successful with the pollination. Like I did this one here probably a week ago. Let me sneak in here. Where is it? Right there. And I'm not sure that it's a go. It's not soft yet. So maybe it took it. Just It's a kind of a slow grower. So I'm not quite sure about that one. And there's one right over there. Actually really visible. From here which is kind of surprising that's kind of interesting oh i might have had a tire in there i took out i don't know anyway so there's one there i pollinated and a little bit of a slow grower but it's going we'll see what happens but my goodness guys <laughs> i uh i've been wanting to have a pumpkin patch for a couple years now and uh i thought i <laughs> i thought my plans were foiled again and it wasn't going to happen and uh, here we are, things are growing. We've got quite a few pumpkins. I think there's one over here. Let's see, right there, right on there. Just another little jack-o'-lantern pumpkin going. 
So that's kind of cool. We had some pretty good winds earlier today that kind of got these things flipped around here, which is not good. We'll turn him back over a little bit. There we go. Anyways, where was I? Anyways, yeah. So we wanted a pumpkin patch for quite a while and it was looking so discouraging uh, about a month ago that my hopes weren't very high. And here recently, we fertilized about two and a half, three weeks ago and it started growing. And then uh, we caught on some pretty good rains here the last couple weeks for us anyhow, maybe not for a lot of you guys, but for us, we caught some pretty good rains that allowed us to have some good water. And of course you guys know if you've been following, we don't have the best water. So that was greatly appreciated. And I think they really started to thrive on that rainwater. But uh, of course that doesn't look like it's coming back. Man, it's turning into something. I'm getting kind of hopeful that we're actually gonna have some pumpkins. Now if September doesn't die off and get cold on us here, it might turn into something but it really depends on that because if it doesn't stay warm enough you guys know that's not going to work but uh, as September would usually have it I would guess we probably have oh, three weeks at least in September but uh, it could go either way sometimes like last year we stretched into October a little bit so if that happens again we're going to be kicking it so that's going to be pretty cool but and of course our little uh I guess the yellow zucchini squashes are doing pretty good. You see we got quite a bit of rain and that one back there split open. Just had too much water. Which is kind of kind of bizarre, but they're still growing. We got some zucchinis and my goodness, I've been pollinating the spaghetti squashes. And we got little spaghetti squashes coming on everywhere. Let's see, there's one back there. There's one right down in there. I don't know if you can see it somewhere in there. There's a nice sized one. Of course we have this one here and he's getting pretty close to being ready but not quite he'd still get a little fingernail cut on that oh look at that one over there that's a nice one so i've been pollinating them and they're going crazy so that's been working good i wish my pumpkins would do that good but you know beggars can't be choosers as they say but looking pretty cool we're having a good time zucchinis or i don't know they're doing all right Look at the the mini pumpkins. Do you remember do you remember those? My goodness. Those have really turned out. And I got to be honest with you. We got at least a dozen mini pumpkins in here if not more. Mostly cuz like I said we've been mini we've been pollinating ourselves, but check this out. There's a little guy right there. <laughs> Isn't that a cute little pumpkin? A little pumpkin there. We got quite a few of those. Some over there. I guess some more in the middle. This thing is just going ham. Having a good time. Oh, side note. I don't want to make this into a garden video, but I want to walk over here and show you some little watermelons. Look at that. There's actually a couple there. One down there. We got a Charleston Gray growing off that plant over there, right there. Um, quite a few. I think these are Blacktail Mountain, these ones over here. I believe um, I'll double check on that variety but I think that's what it is but they're growing nice I mean they're really starting to grow and they're enjoying this weather we our temperatures dropped down a little bit today it was about 86 so it was not like 96 to 100 and things are actually enjoying it a little bit better so we might have some watermelons I don't know it depends on the weather but well, there we go, guys. I thought I'd just bring you out here and show you the pumpkin patch. Like I said, I was out here earlier today and I just kind of clicked. I thought, my goodness, it's really grown a lot more than I thought it had. And uh, so I went back and watched that video from about three and a half weeks ago. <laughs> I was like, man alive, all you could see out here was dirt and a couple teeny little plants. And uh, it just kind of shocked me and got me pretty excited about what was going on. And uh, feeling hopeful that we're actually going to have some kind of a harvest here. As long as the weather holds out. But as if you can see, man, it's just crazy what three weeks will do. A little fertilizer and, and a lot of rain, you know. So we felt good that uh, the Lord's blessed us with some rain and brought our garden out of its dreary little hole that it was in, you know. 
and we might get a little bit of a harvest here so which is cool because we have a harvest party every october usually we've missed a couple years here and there but uh, with family and friends it'd be nice to bring some pumpkins some squashes maybe even some corn back there and uh who knows even a sunflower or two just bring it to the party so the family and friends can enjoy it as much as we have and it's looking pretty good stay tuned guys i don't know we'll see what happens hopefully i get one of these giants to start growing and it'll grow long enough that we can get something going but beggars can't be choosers like i said and uh, we're going to take whatever we can get this year and then just let it ride so thanks for coming along guys we'll catch you back out here on another day have a good one